I'm Mario with MIM Microflight and in this video I'm going to show you two antennas that you can build for your FPV system. This is a panel or patch antenna that is based on some of the specifications from IB Crazy which uh, appeared in RC Groups uh, uh, a few years ago and it's to build a panel antenna. He was building it for a 1280 megahertz uh, 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 system. I built mine for 5.8 gigahertz at the frequency of 5865 which is uh, channel 1 on my DTX and this antenna works very nice. One thing that I did do uh, different than uh, Ivy Crazy's antenna is uh, I minimized the mounting. He used four posts here, nylon uh, screws with the nylon spacers. Those were fixed at a certain distance. Now this one has one feature that uh, IB Crazy's antenna does not have which is the, the ability to be tuned via these screws and I'm using O-rings. There are two sets of O-rings here that are placed uh, one on top of each other to make this antenna tunable and because I couldn't get access to copper plate at the time I did this, I did this late at night and I, I was itching to build an antenna like this uh, for a while at this uh, frequency uh, uh, range but uh, I just didn't have a, a flat copper plate so I ended up using a piece of pipe, copper pipe. Those are solid copper pipes, true copper pipe and so I think this is why one of the reasons this is working very very nice this antenna. I was able to tune it via these uh, screws by adjusting the screws and tightening on the grommets here. I was able to tune it to the right frequency as I was uh, test flying it. So this one works let me show you something. I wasn't satisfied with this antenna. I don't know. I did something about it that I just didn't, didn't like. So here's what I did. I went with this setup here. I used three pennies, or four pennies rather. And this is working better than that antenna, believe it or not. At this frequency range that I designed this for, 5865. You know, there are three pennies that are soldered together to create the uh, reflector plate at the bottom and there was uh, one penny that was drilled uh, at the top you know with a uh, I think that's a one millimeter hole at the top to uh, join in with the center lead of the coaxial cable the other three holes to go for the spacers and the o-rings are two millimeter uh, holes and I'm using nylon hardware here M2 which is uh, two millimeter screws by 10 millimeter long with uh, M2 or two millimeter nuts and so the use of the grommets or the use of the um, O-rings allows you to tune the antenna. This is one of the features that I have been employing on these antennas that I've been doing. Uh, and this is uh, not really my own because it's based on somebody else's specifications. However, the tuning portion, it is my own. It's my own uh, idea, my own design here. But this is truly my own antenna. I can say this is a MIA microflight or MIA microflight penny antenna. If you want to call it a pen antenna, this is the world's first uh, coin <laughs> antenna. Um, the world's first uh, of this particular design, and, and basically a, a very unique an antenna. Very much as unique as the stuff that I like to do when I design things. I don't like to rely on somebody else's designs or somebody else's uh, products. They rarely. Uh, satisfy my my taste, my, my drive. I mean, they, this worked. I added a little uh, uh, feature, you know, to this uh, antenna system, you know, the, the tuning factor there, but this is working a lot better. Now, don't take my word for that. Build one of these and see how it works for you. You know, the 5865 is working for me very nicely. This is the, 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 the uh, frequency that I'm operating my BTX at, you know, for my background backyard flying in front uh, of the cul sac I'm able to go a, a little further than the typical antennas that are supplied with the uh, typical VTXs and the uh, receivers uh, that you buy you know in, in the that are out there so build one of these let me know what you think about it I mean you can't go wrong uh, who doesn't have four pennies uh, all you need is uh, you know just to drill these things uh, be precise on the uh, on the drilling if you take the three pennies uh, tape them to a block of wood in delta uh, shape and then solder 
the edges, you have uh, you know that delta plate at the bottom. Once you're done with that, then take your uh, top uh, penny, drill that concentric at the center. You can do that with hand tools, but I did this on a lathe, so it's very very precise. You know the hole is concentric with the uh, diameter of the the, the the top penny. So that's at one millimeter diameter. The other holes are at two millimeter because of the two millimeter um, diameter. Uh, screws that I'm using here and just make sure that everything is aligned properly and you cannot go wrong with this. If you use number four O-rings, these are number four Buma O-rings that I'm using here which give you gives you a distance of about I would say uh, a little bit under um, maybe um, uh, one and a half millimeters. I have not measured that to be exact uh, but you know I just use the O-rings straight out, out of the box and uh, tighten the screws just just snug to hold the top and the bottom plates in place now you like I said you can tune this if you adjust the screws if you tighten it uh, the only thing with the nylon uh, hardware here is that you, you when you start tightening too much you know the the threading because it's so fine on these M2 nylon screws it starts to wear out and you might lose the the, 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 um, the pressure you know or the or the, the tension is, is you're screwing this onto the, the nuts. So that's just to keep in mind. In that case, you can use two two nuts like I used here on this uh, other panel antenna. I used two nuts there, but I also used two um, O-rings. And this one's tuned, like I said, to, to that frequency. I was able to tune this just by adjusting and then tightening this just a little more than, than snug. But this is based on the formulas that be um, I'd be uh, crazy it gives you you know to to use in his uh, thread in RC groups so this is how this is based with the added feature that I added tuning to that once again these antennas are tunable this is a MIA microflight uh, approach to these antennas using the hardware the very simple hardware as you see here there's no no fuss no mess with this and there, there shouldn't be and this is how I like to approach things I don't like to make my life complex life is a lot simpler if you take things with a lot of logic and you understand some basics there's no need to complicate things and and so this is my approach with things and this is why I use three pennies and the logic of using copper the pennies are copper there they use it, the logic of using something uh, within the, you know the, those dimensions there uh, of course it's not square but you know so there's there's some some analogy here very simple analogy analogy and sometimes you know simplicity works best you know i'm very for the uh k-i-s-s -S rule which means stands for keep it simple uh, silly or stupid if you want to be uh, rude about that and i don't mean to be rude but you know the kiss rule works for me and uh, that's the way i like to approach things and this is you can not get any more simpler any more any more um you know any any more easier uh, than to assemble this so no reason why you cannot assemble one of these assemble one of these today right now go get some pennies drill some holes get some line nylon hardware it, they don't need to be two millimeters you can if you have a if you have a other sizes that'll work of course don't make it too too big and you know where you, you have a humongous holes there but you know nylon hardware you can get at your hardware store two millimeter hardware i think it's very available at, at uh, home depot or any true value or ace hardware stores you know you can get some nylon hardware if you have these connectors lane you know just reuse them uh, you know this is just your typical sma connector this, uh, this is a female connector which is standard you know for uh, plugging in, into uh, receivers uh, uh, transmitters so you know there's no no reason why not to try this antenna the inexpensive simple and easy to assemble characteristics of this antenna is unmatched you will not find any other antenna aside from the the dipole which you also have to you know uh, use a little bit of calculations there to uh, to get it to the right uh, uh, um, distance for the uh, active element as a portion that sticks out beyond the uh, the grounding uh, sheeting of the antenna you cannot get any sort of no math whatsoever here all you have to do is drill holes put some spacers and connect it to the coaxial cable and you're set to go. You can tune this at the field by trial and error by adjusting those screws. This is Mario once again. Please pass the word around. This is the MIA Microflight Penny Antenna. Literally built out of pennies. Thanks for watching.